Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can use the CC hex tile effect to create some fast and unique backgrounds from your footage. Drag your footage that you wanna use in the background from the project panel onto your composition. So I'm gonna to go to the effects and presets panel and do a search for hex. So I'll click H-E-X, there's the CC hex tile effect I'm just gonna drag it right onto this texture layer. Now I've got this pretty cool hexagon pattern background made from this texture file. I could add a logo, add some text, and I might be happy with this new background. Let's see what we can do to customize it. Render, you have three options. This is tile, there's fold aligned, which looks similar, but you can see there's some different patterns in between the hexagons. And then there's fold seamlessly, which is basically gonna remove the outline or the stroke of the hexagons. So that looks pretty cool to me. We can change the radius of the pattern. So if I increase it, you'll see this looks very similar to the CC Collider effect, or I could decrease the radius to get a much smaller effect, which also makes a pretty cool pattern. I can change the center position, which is gonna change the look of the pattern. So if I click that, you'll see the center position. Then I can just click and change this little point control. And I can also animate this if I wanna get a completely random look. And we have the rotate property. You can see as you change the rotation, the pattern's changing. So that's giving you a pretty cool look. Again, very similar to the CC Collider effect. Then there's smearing, which gives you some pretty cool effects. So if you drag it to the right, you're gonna see the pattern just starts smearing into itself. And if you go in the reverse direction, it works in the opposite direction, giving a very cool look. Now, just like any other effect, you can animate any of the properties that have a stopwatch. I'm just gonna be animating the rotation property. So I'll make sure it's at zero, zero. I'll drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna click on the stopwatch next to rotate to add a keyframe. I'll drag the CTI to the end of my timeline. I'm gonna click in and enter 359. So one degree short of a 360. So it creates a perfect loop. Tap the space bar. Now I have a looping animation. I can add logo, text. And I just added a little bit more of a dynamic background for my plain texture image that I had before. And to swap out or replace the background layer. So if you wanna try out a new texture or photo or any asset that you have in your project panel, Select the background layer that already has the CC hex tile effect on it. Go to your project panel, select a new file, press the option key on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and just drag it right on top of the background layer, let go, and just like that, you have a new background with the CC hex tile already applied in all of the settings, and you can customize as needed. To replace this background, I'll select the background layer, then go to the project panel, press the option or Alt key, click on a new file. I'll drag it right on top of the previous background, let go, and now I've got myself a new file. This is just from a photograph of some grass. So the next time you find yourself needing a background for your animations and you have a texture file or a photo that you just wanna add something a little bit more unique, consider adding the CC hex tile effect. Play around with the settings to get totally unique patterns and looks. Animate any of the properties but that is the CC hex tile effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.